example, in this video, I'm going to talk about number writing numbers or number or numbers in the standard or the scientific form. Both mean the same thing. Okay, so these are the uh, key points you need to know about writing a number in the standard form. Okay, a number in the standard, a number in standard form is also called a number is in. Okay, it should be number in standard form is also called scientific notation or scientific form. Okay, I'll come to that later. I'll explain what scientific notation is. Okay, so these these two are the same. Scientific notation or scientific form are one and the same. Okay, this notation, that is the scientific notation or the scientific form, uses powers of 10 to express very large number or very small number in an economical manner. I'll explain that later on. What does economical manner means? And this is very crucial. In the standard form, there are two numbers written as product of, as in, in, a, in a multiplication form. A number in the standard form is written as a number, that means the first number, as a number between 1 to 10. So there are two numbers which are multiplied to each other. The first number should be between 1 and 10. Okay, it's not inclusive of 1 or 10. Any number, say 1.5 or 5.7 or 3.8 or 3.75, that's any number between 1 to 10 should be the first number and followed by, that number is followed by or multiplied by a power of 10. Okay, on a calculator, EXP is used to express the number in the standard form. I'll get my calculator out, I'll explain. Now this is the EXP key on a graphic calculator or scientific calculator. So what does that mean? So I'll show you. Say if it is say 1, 1 1.2 e to the power 2 means this 120 okay i'll explain that later so this is nothing but 1.2 times 10 squared if you write 10 squared like this that's 120 the same thing so this and this are the same 1.2 times 10 to the power 2 or 1.2 e2 means the same thing you can see the same answer so this when you, whenever you see have an answer like this on a calculator students do get puzzled okay what is this e and what is this number i'll explain that later i'll explain that later so let me take a very simple example to start with suppose you have a number in the scientific form say 3.67 times 10 to the power 4 so if you want to write this in the in the this is in the scientific this is this number is in the scientific notation. This is in the scientific notation or scientific form. And notation. Okay. And you want to change this into an ordinary form. Into an ordinary number. Okay. Number which you can understand. Okay. Now this is of course, you should understand this is a very useful form of writing a number. Now what does this mean? Let me change color. This means 3.67, I hope you understand, is 367 out of 100. Okay? So, if you want to write this in ordinary form, I'm going to write 3.67 as 367 out of 100. And then you've got 10 to the power 5. Okay, now, 10... 100 is nothing but 10 to the power 2. Get the calculators out. 10 to the power 2 is 100. Or 10 to the power 2 means 10 times 10, which is 100. Okay. So now I can write this as 367 out of 10 squared 
times 10 to the power of 5 over 1. Okay, I'm going very slowly so that you understand. So this is 367 over 1 times 10 to the power of 5 over 10 squared. So this becomes, <coughs> now these numbers can swap over, doesn't make any difference. This uh, are denominator, so they can swap over. So that's what I've done. Now this is nothing but 367 times, I'll explain this, is 10 to the power of 5 means it's 10 times, 10 times, 10 times, 10 times, 10, 10. 5 times over 10 times 10. So what will get cancelled? You can cancel this 10 with this 10. So what is left over or what is remaining? So this is 367 times 10 to the power 3. And 10 to the power 3 means 367 times 1000, which is nothing but 367,000. Okay, now to check this on a calculator, this was our question. This was the number in the scientific form. So if you want to check what's on a calculator, you go 3, I'll uh, Oh, my calculator is not working. Okay. Uh, sorry. Uh, let me delete this. Yeah, it's working now. Okay, so three point. The question was is my question three point six seven times ten to the power three point six seven times ten to the power five, which is three sixty seven thousand. The same thing can also be written like this: three point six seven. And you type in exp to the power of 5. Don't raise it. It's understood. So that's this. This and this are the same. This and this are the same. Hopefully this video has been helpful. See you in the next video.